Hey guys, welcome back to Purely Walking. It's me, Ellie, again, and today I have some news about tourism in the world because there are some countries, <laughs> Spain, that are doing some crazy things towards tourism and tourists themselves that I want to talk about, tell you what's going down, and also compare it to Dominican Republic and if something similar has happened here or what you can expect as a tourist in the Dominican Republic. So if that interests you, let's go. Guys, let me remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am almost about to get to 7,000 subscribers, thanks to all of you. So if you haven't subscribed already, please help a girl out over here. It helps me a bunch to get my content out there and it doesn't cost you a dime. It's completely free. Just put on the subscribe button. It's the red one down there and the notification bell as well. My channel is basically all about Dominican Republic. I show you uh, the places that are around here, what's going on in the ZR and I have these chit chat videos talking about tourism and travel and things like that or other news that are going on in the country. So if that's what you're all about, I got your back, subscribe down below. So basically what is going down in Spain is very, very similar to what has gone down already in New York City, where there is such an overpopulation of tourists going into the city that basically short-term rentals are getting very, very popular. And so homeowners or property owners are no longer renting out their spaces to local renters for people to actually live in their spaces, but they prefer to rent them in a short-term stay type of thing so that they can get more profit for their property because as you know, Airbnb and all these short-term rentals can generate more money for you as a homeowner than uh, if you were just you know, renting it out to a family or to anyone that is gonna be there long-term. So because there is such a shortage now of normal local apartments for rent in the city, now the rent prices, what do they do? They go up. So what that has provoked is that local people in New York City have not been able to actually get a place to live, for example, or the places that they do find are so expensive they cannot even pay for them. So what happened in New York City is that property owners basically favored the tourists instead of the actual local New York City residents, right? So all that to say, the same exact thing has been going on in a lot of cities in the world, but re most recently it happened in Spain. And this has been going on for a few, few years. Until the other day when I saw that the situation had gotten so critical that people from Barcelona, the actual residents and inhabitants of Barcelona city in Spain, actually started attacking tourists while they were doing random things like eating out at restaurants or just being out and about. And they actually started shouting at the tourists and telling them to go home. All this because prices are high for renters in Barcelona and all this because um, they want their own space. Like they feel like there's over tourism in Barcelona. Water pistols were fully loaded and at the ready in Barcelona over the weekend as frustration at over tourism boiled over. Holidaymakers were forced to take shelter inside to avoid being soaked. Thousands of demonstrators marched in protest at the sheer number of tourists coming to visit. Barcelona is Spain's most visited city. Some 12 million people come every year. The protesters say that has led to a lack of housing and soaring rent prices for residents. We come here to demonstrate against mass tourist touristification here in Barcelona. The last years the city has turned completely for tourists and what we want is a city for citizens and not in service of tourists. I'm here to try and stop tourism from destroying people's lives. The people in these neighborhoods have to leave because the prices for everything have risen so much due to tourism. Now, this type of anti-tourism sentiment is not unique to New York or Spain. There has been uh, things going down in Japan where they actually ban tourists from going to the Geisha district. And also, as you well might imagine, in Venice, Italy, 
there has been an anti-tourist sentiment for a long, long time because it's overcrowded. The city is overcrowded with tourists every single day. Fed up residents are leaving forever, 1,000 each year. For them, house prices are astronomically high. The crowd's unbearable. The Italian city no longer caters for them, they say. Now, I can understand you as a resident of a city finding that your city is overcrowded with tourists every single day. I can imagine that can be very, very frustrating. And also, I can completely understand, especially the people that are more vulnerable, like the elderly, or people that are residents in Barcelona and really need a home, to not be able to find one because property owners decided to rent it out for short-term rentals like Airbnb. That must be so, so frustrating and even could make you angry. But I, in no respect, could actually defend attacking an actual tourist that goes to your city to get to know your culture and your streets and everything that you have to offer as a city that you attack the tourists themselves you know i can never defend that i find that actually really really bad because i am a tourist like i travel around a lot and i like to feel welcome wherever i travel so i can just imagine on the tourist perspective how they must feel when they actually saved up for X amount of months to go on a vacation, they decide where they're going and they finally end up choosing Spain and Barcelona specifically because they want to get to know the place, they want to get to know the culture, they want to enjoy the city of Barcelona and lo and behold when they actually get there not only are the residents hostile towards them but they actually attack them and not even let them eat a meal there. That is so bad, like seriously. Spaniards get a grip, okay? There are solutions to this, and the solution, in my opinion, or the multiple solutions that it can be to this, is not attacking the actual tourists, okay? Something has to go down with the actual governments of those cities and of those countries to put policies in place that can make things better for residents without limiting the actual tourism factor. In Spain, specifically Barcelona, gets a lot of money from their tourism. Let's talk about Spain. The economy has been growing faster than most of its neighbors recently, and that's in great part due to its tourism industry, which contributes around 13% of GDP growth, and uh, once again is breaking records. So no, I don't agree with Spaniards actually attacking tourists and making them feel completely unwelcome in their space, okay? I think that some of the solutions can involve maybe limiting the Airbnb or short-term rentals like they did in New York. Also, another thing might be to charge people to go into your city, limit the amount of tourists that go there per day, per week, per month. Those are all policies that can help out to um, remove a little bit of the overcrowding of tourism in the countries. There are more solutions that they can put in place, but the solution is never to make a tourist feel horrible. You know why? Because traveling at the end of the day, guys, is the best thing ever, and I always recommend people, if they can, to travel wherever they can, because traveling grows your mind, it helps you um, welcome other cultures. Comment down below, those of you that travel often, how has travel been for you? How has it been for you to be a tourist somewhere else and getting to know a different culture, a different world basically that didn't, you didn't know existed, or be in touch with uh, local communities somewhere on the other side of the world? Um, I'm sure that a lot of you might have a lot of things to say about how great traveling and being a tourist somewhere else is. Now to compare all of this chaos to Dominican Republic, I'll say that Dominican Republic is a completely different world with regards to tourists. We actually give tourists the world here. We actually are so nice to them. Um, we would even put off our own Dominican fellows and all Dominican brothers and sisters in order to like cater to the tourists here because our economy is also dependent and it's very much more dependent on uh, tourism than uh, other countries in the world so we do need tourists to feel welcome to feel safe to feel you know that they have a friendly face to look at here in the Dominican Republic so they can come back because for nobody is a secret that Dominican Republic has beautiful things to offer but mostly it is known for being a tropical island and there are lots of tropical islands in the world 
So for tourists to specifically choose Dominican Republic to come here, vacation here, spend their money here, help out the economy here, we need to uh, you know make them feel as welcome as possible. And that is basically what you get when you travel to the Dominican Republic. So if you are watching this video because you're on my channel or you are wondering about Dominican Republic or you're wanting to travel to DR, that's what you can basically expect from Dominicans is a friendly face and somebody who will cater to you because we want you to come back for the most part. I don't mean that there is no people that are mean, you know, there are people that are mean in all cultures uh, everywhere, you know, in every single country in the world. But most people here, if you are a tourist coming from abroad to visit our country, get to know our culture, we will be so happy to have you. We will welcome you with open arms. And I don't think there's ever a chance that people here or Dominicans here will actually attack tourists. So yeah, if you're wondering where you should travel next instead of Spain, come to Dominican Republic. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. Let me know all your comments on this chaos down below. Do you defend the Spaniards for attacking the tourists in their own city? Or uh, do you think like me? Do you think there are other solutions? Comment your proposed solutions down below. All right guys, that's it for today. Also, I want you to comment down below what other things you would like me to talk about on this channel. I would love to get your recommendations. I'm always putting it together a list of videos that I have to make. So thank you guys also for um, asking for content that I can make for you. So this is me signing out. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.